Hi hey, YouTuber, this is the latest project that I work on. It shows the temperature inside and outside and get updated every one minute. As we can see now in this web page right now. And uh, I got inspired with a gentleman that had a video on uh, YouTube with a soft the mountain. I'm gonna leave the link. He made the thermostat, I think in 2017, February of 2017 that it was just showing the temperature outside and it was using the feature of the thermostat to turning on and off, uh, I don't know, the heater or something like that. So I use his code, I find the error with his code that it was, uh, as you can see, it shows like, some gauges in the top and uh, it, he was just showing the outside temperature and it was showing this uh, graph in the bottom. And the graph sometimes it wasn't showing. I find the error on his code and I correct it and add inside temperature to it to add in the inside temperature i need to uh, add additional uh, client server that is uh, installing them inside they are pretty much exactly the same circuitry as the outside uh, circuit physically i build them physically the same shape as an outside server i just leaving them inside of course the sketch for the client is different than the web server and the client is going to send the information out so outside server is going to get them and it will show them up as this web page as you can see now right in here this web page is going to get updated every one minute as you can see on the corner, top corner, every 40 seconds right now is going to sample in them and it shows a uh, 90 data point on the graph that you can go ahead and change them if you want. You can just change either one of those 40, 90 and uh, going to be uh, reflected on the uh, web page. Uh, the other the stuff that I add again, as I mentioned them, is just going to be the client that it shows right now these two gauges. Uh, and the significance of the color code that I do have for the blue and green is going to be comfort zone for the humidity that is going to be between 40 to 60 percent for me and also temperature between 60 to 78 degree. The other thing that I add right in here, I add the battery voltages since my server outside using the battery that is connected to the solar panel i monitor the battery voltage and i report in them right in here since that the resistor could be a different value and you need a calibration so i add a calibration factor right in the top that it doesn't have any scholar so if in case if you measure with a voltmeter your battery voltages and you saw the different number right in here you can match them up with changing this value change them for instance to the 460 you can go up to the 999 and can go down to the one and then when the both of the reading on the battery voltages on this screen and your multimeter matched after that point, every time that you can see the result right in here, it can be plus minus 50 millivolt off. The other thing that I add right in here is shows the sing, uh, sig, uh, signal string of the outside server that is being reported right in here. Uh, something else about the battery that I forget is this. In case if the battery voltages goes lower than 11 volt, the uh, note that you see right in here, it changed the red and it's telling you the battery voltages is low. Uh, the other thing that I added right in here, of course, that you will go, uh, you guys can go and take a look at them. The format of the uh, gauges that I'm showing right in here is different. I changed the formatting a little, make a lead gauges a little bigger and uh, put a different ticker on it than whatever, uh, Surf the mountain man uh, done. Uh, the other thing that I was going to talk about it is going to be, let me just go ahead and show you the hardware that I built uh, for it. Of course, I add the code, uh, additional code to his code that I can do it over the air. So the server that is outside, I can even change a load of the different sketch, completely different sketch on them. I can change the address. I can change the, right now, the address that I do have in the top that it shows. I can change that one. Everything over the air without going and touching the server that is outside. Now, let's just go ahead and take a look at the, the hardware that I do have. 
uh, as you can see this is the hardware this is built finished right now this is the client that i do have the uh, server that i do have uh, web server that i do have is exactly the same way too since that i didn't want to have a dangling wire i just use the wiring under the esp you can see the esp sitting right there i under it i just add the wiring right there as you can see so when i was installing my esp on top of the breadboard as you can see i put on with a little offset at the end i do have two free pin that i can use on so i did the wiring somehow that uh, bring those two pin and i use them that i can plug directly my uh, uh, temperature sensor right in here into the board and to the other side if you just take a look at them let me have this pointer right in here i can just plug in my uh, wire that it goes to the uh, 12 volt uh, battery supply of course the battery supply can go all the way to the 30 volt and still this circuitry can do the measurement on it the two resistor that i do have that for the voltage divider one of them is a five volt uh, 5 kilo ohm the other one is a 20 kilo ohm and the other end they are connected together that is being connected to the input of the adc that you do have adc zero so this end right in here this point right in here is going to be the point that uh, these two resistor sitting right there and uh, this corner that you see right here let me just put them in the same orientation right in here this is going to be ground this is going to be your data point and this is going to be your positive signal 3.3 volt signal that is being connected to this sensor right in here and the other end right in here i'm just going to get this connected to the 12 volt battery to do the measurement of the battery voltage and uh, i can i don't know somewhere right in here you do have a ground that you can connect the ground of the battery to the same point too that's about it uh, it's a two sketch uh, one for the uh, client, one for the server. If you guys are interested, let me know. I can send you the copy of those sketch. And if it's, I see so many interest on it, I can just walk you through those sketch and I explain to you guys how this uh, two sketch being uh, written. Let me just actually show you guys something right in here that uh, this software had. You can uh, have some addition and a future on them too. Let me just go to the same side first let me just bring this thing up it's going to be 192 this one right there and since that i do have a port i gotta put the port in it too right there it's coming up so as you can see right now it shows inside because i just have one client i could have a five six different clients and then for each client have a different name so this screen that is right in here we can just modify the sketch a bit that every time that it's showing them up it cycle through the different room it shows the outside for instance with the bedroom next time it shows outside with the office next time it just depended how many clients you do have if i modify just a bit or my sketch is going to be capable of doing such a thing since that i just have one client it's just showing them as the outside and inside so uh let me know if you need more information about this then i'm making another video have a good day uh i have to mention two things that i forgot to talk about it one how often the information coming from the client to the web server is just dependent to the sample rate when we set up the sample rate right in here for instance for this second this information be relayed to the client client knows about it and send the information twice per sample rate so if you have 40 second client is going to update the web server every 20 second so if you change this from right now to the 120 second then the client knows about it and every 60 second is going to update the information for the web server to be showing right in here the second thing that i done 
uh, that I learned after I write the code uh, uh, is uh, I have to make sure the client is sending the information continuously. To doing so, every time that uh, this web page is updating, it's going to go ahead and reset both of these gauges, uh, temperature and humidity for inside to the zero and is waiting to get the data to be updated from inside client. If the inside client doesn't work, if it's the sensor doesn't work on them or the power supply or the signal has problem, then it does not get updated. So both of these gauge is going to show zero. In that scenario, I know that the data that is being shown right in here is valid and up to date. As I mentioned, both of the hardware that I built for the client and for the web server, they are the same. The only difference that I did on the uh, web server that is outside, I used some of this after I put everything together, I've used some of this finger polish, clear finger polish and cover all of the pin header and all the component with a copper coat of this to make sure when I put this thing outside, the weather doesn't start corroding the component. Uh, I mean, the, I installed this thing, I think about uh, two weeks ago and we have it so many times rain and I didn't get any problem with it of course this thing been installed under one of my solar panel with a good distance it has about maybe about 10 inches or so away from the solar panel uh, that the rain doesn't get to the uh, system but anyhow the moisture will get in this scenario if you're just using the good code of the uh, finger polish you should be able to cover all the holes and all the component don't get them anywhere around your sensor uh, that way you can just take them out and making them somehow water resist